for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up for the present time around the first week of November. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy for you and your person. Well, we got this Nine of Wands. And it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Now the Nine of Wands, when it comes up in a reading, the first and the best step is to, is to take a deep breath and calm down because this is about anxiety, worry. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Try to take it one day at a time, one hour at a time if you can. Because at least some of the worries, they'll likely turn out to be imaginary. So get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. And I use the word imaginary because if you take a look at the picture of the Nine of Wands, it's a card that's above the word pass. It looks like this man has caged himself in with all of these wands. And it looks like he could be in a, in a forest, at a park or somewhere. It looks like there could be a fire behind him, so... It looks like he's probably in a really hot place. And he's he's ready to battle, battle someone. But there's actually no one coming towards him. So, at least some of the worries don't turn out to be imaginary. Get very specific on what you're afraid of. And pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? Now, it's with this Eight of Pentacles, which points to necessary efforts. You have a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Just know that dedication is important, but if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So you're going to need to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance, because no one can or should work all the time. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it can actually indicate a very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be negative, but you're going to have to be prepared for it. So, basically, the recent past energy between you and your person, Nine of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Well, with this worry and anxiety card here, There could have been some, you or your person, did a lot of constant dissecting in the connection, or about you, or towards you, and it's important to give your person some breathing space but someone didn't do that and there was a lot of picking apart maybe nagging or whining just constant dissection so it caused a lot of worry and I'm picking up Aquarius you were probably the one that did a lot of you did most of the work in the connection, and it felt like your person, they didn't put in much energy or effort to keep the relationship going. So that could have contributed to a lot of your, your anxiety. Yeah, it could have. Or, I'm getting another storyline. A lot of you Aquarius um, dealt with um, something that was going on in the relationship and it caused a lot of anxiety and worry and being stuck in your head. Something was going on and you thought that if you bury yourself in work 
if you just worked overtime, then that would help solve some problems. That's for some of you. But then for others, you were the one putting in a lot of effort and energy, not your person. You were the one doing all the work just to keep this connection alive. And it started to make you feel like this nine of wands. Just something's, something's not quite right, maybe. And you started to feel really anxious because you realized that you, you're the one doing everything. So that's a recent past energy. Let's move on over and let's take a look and see. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. Now, we got the Queen of Swords, and it's with the Page of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords can point to a woman in your life. This, this woman is one who is not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. Now, if this is not a person, it can point to the need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation, just to get your needs met. So, you may need to put your foot down. Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts, they're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want. You know what it is that you need. Now it's about going after it. The Queen of Swords is a very forceful energy. And a lot of people find her really abrasive. Now the Queen of Swords is with this Page of Pentacles, which can be a card about boredom in some ways. So you could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little bit of a excitement. You might want to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy. Because excitement, it can't be created. The Page of Pentacles, it's a great energy that will support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. Because it gives, it gives you focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task. That's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So what's coming up? This Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So Aquarius, a lot of you are fed up with your person. Like I said, you're doing most of the work in the relationship or the connection or the friendship. Yeah, you're putting in all the energy and effort. And it's causing you to feel a certain kind of way. You're starting to feel... Yeah, you're starting to feel some kind of way. That's not good. If it's not anxiety, you're feeling some kind of way now. You know what way that is. It's not a good feeling. So, you, it looks like you might decide to put your foot down. That's what the Queen of Swords does. She puts her foot down, and she is one that's not to be played with. Yeah, and it looks like you could be becoming bored with your person. Like, it's like you've had enough. You're, you're no longer excited about this person anymore. They're showing signs of immaturity. Because when you hear the word page... In the tarot, that means a student, youth, immaturity, or it could be someone. It could be someone that's younger than you. This your person, but you're ready to cut it out, cut out whatever's bothering you, whatever's got you feeling like this nine of wands. Yeah, and like I said, you're doing all the work in this connection. So, you're just realizing some things. It's time to put your foot down. And you're realizing that your, your person is, is not at the same maturity level that you are. So, let's move on over and let's see what the challenge is going to be. So, we got the star card and it's with the three of wands. Now, the star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired. And you could start to feel more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. So, you might find that um, your confidence is increasing. And 
You could feel more confident that your needs, they're being met, whether it's emotional or financial, or it could be both. Just know nothing can be taken for granted, but it is unlikely that your confidence will be misplaced. This could also be a very spiritual card, spiritual card, and you could find yourself feeling at one with all of creation, and it's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. Now, the star card is with this Three of Wands. The Three of Wands, you could find that your finances are going much better. In fact, it could start to feel like it's a time where your ship has finally arrived. Your ship has finally come in, and you're likely to be feeling really strong with a good reason. You could finally experience some important success after you've been through some difficulty. Now, the Three of Wands, it can refer to work in an extremely, extremely positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it can mean that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and they're well respected. So, your challenge, well, we get the Star card clarified by this Three of Wands. So, this is great. Like I said, you put your foot down with, the, with your person. Because you were doing everything. They were just being immature. You've lost interest in your person or you're bored with this type of energy that they bring to the, to the table. Yeah, so with this challenge here, you, you want to feel great and fabulous again like the star. Yeah, because... There was a time when you felt that way, rejuvenated, hopeful about the future, having a lot of faith in many things. So you're looking for a renewal. You're trying to bring your light back. This connection, this relationship, it, it kind of drained you because with all this work going into overdrive, you doing everything just to keep the connection strong, you putting in all the energy and effort, it's drained you. It has drained you. And then on top of that, you're dealing with someone who is on the immature side that you've got, you've gotten bored with. So you, you're looking to feel like the star that you used to feel like before. Before you got drained by this connection or your person. Yeah, the star card, it's, it's about miracles, having faith, being in the spotlight. Like I said, there's renewal, there's hope, and there's inner clarity. Now, because it's with this three of wands, it looks like you've made a decision. You've made a decision to go forward. So you're going forward, you're looking ahead. There's expansion and there, there's growth. You've made a decision. It could be towards a number of things. Maybe you were starting to focus more on the things that, that brought you happiness before you met this person. Because coming up, you're bored with this connection. So you're, with this three of wands here, You've made a decision towards something, and you're going forward, and it feels great. So, I don't know what it is. Maybe you've decided to pick up some new hobbies. Do the things that you used to do before you met this person. And some of you are going forward without this person. You've already made the decision. Because you're looking for growth and expansion. Because you're not getting that with this person. So, let's move on over and let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Page of Wands, and it's with the Seven of Cups. Now, the Page of Wands, they're warm, ambitious, high achievers. And if this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So, it's important to try to stay focused. This Page of Wands... 
it can indicate that things you started some time ago can actually start to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page brings a positive energy. However, you have to supply the follow-through because of this energy of easy distraction. So the Page of Wands is with the Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups, it can be about choices. It can indicate confusion. It can point to disorganization, having too much going on. There's a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not well. So choose just a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through these one by one carefully. You could start to feel overwhelmed, but just remember you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. So the outcome, Page of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Cups. So, yeah, like I said, your person, they're on the immature side. They could be younger than you. Um, they've got you looking ahead. You're going forward. There's growth and expansion towards something else. Maybe it's another person. And maybe you know this other person made you feel so much better. Yeah, maybe you, you find, you you know you can find rejuvenation and hope with this other person. That's for some of you out there. But then, your person that... um cause you so much anxiety here um, for the outcome they reach out to you they see that you're moving forward with something so you could be not spending that much time with them so they're reaching out to you that's what the page does when it comes to relationships they reach out with messages of love and affection so if you're wondering if you're going to hear, hear from this person, yes, you are. Yeah, this person has a lot of passion for you, and you might not even know it. Because they don't put in that much effort and energy into the connection. Or at least they didn't. Maybe now they will. Now that they see that your ship has finally come in without them. So... They're reaching out to you as this page of wands with a lot of passion. They, they want to be with you. If you guys have split, they still want to be with you. But it's interesting because it's with the Seven of Cups. So, I'm going to give you two storylines with the Seven of Cups. Some of you have other options. Some of you Aquarius. Yeah, some of you have other options, and that's why you feel like your ship has finally come in. So you're going forward with other things, not just something else, but with other things. And then for some of you, this your person who's reaching out to you. This is just for a few of you. They have options. But you're the one that they want to be with. You're the one that they have a lot of passion for. Yeah, so... That is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading... Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So 
Stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading, which will be in about another three or four days. Just, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Please do keep in mind, if you're not dealing with a love interest, your person could be a friend, it could be a family member, or a situation. So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great day.